Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we're doing a mod review and this time it's on the Realistic Pregnancy Overhaul by Lumpino. I know last week I did the meet and mingle section of it, but I did say I'd probably try and do parts of this mod because it's so big to cover into one video that we'll probably split it up. But on Monday I did a Realistic Childbirth mod review for, for the updated portion of that mod. But I did have this, the RPO, which is Realistic Pregnancy Overhaul. In my game I used some of the stuff, so I figured I would do an in-depth review on more of the pregnancy side to this mod because there's so many other parts into this mod but it is by Lumpino and it is one of my favorite mods. I cannot play without this mod in my game. It, it goes perfectly with the childbirth mod as well because this mod also gives you more early pregnancy stuff to do that we will get into later but let's let's get into this mod review and see what see how this mod works. Okay so we're now in game as you can see and last video I did go over this like welcome to the RPO collection. This is version 2.9. There was an updated version for August 13th so so if you are a Patreon on her page, like I am, they did have one for August the 2nd or the 3rd, something like that, but it has since been updated. This should be released publicly. I know she does three weeks for pre-release and then after that, all of her mods are public, but you should be able to download this version. Anyways, this is like the settings page of it. So I think we should probably look and see what all the settings are on, like which settings are on and off. I don't know why I just said that like that, but anyways, they are sectioned off into the different chat, I guess chapters, but not chapters, I guess like different parts to the mod. There's about like eight 18 or 19 different sections in the mod. So it is a pretty big mod, but today we're gonna be focusing on more of the pregnancy related stuff. So like this one right here, it says all Sims happy to have a baby by default. In The Sims 4, normally Sims are always happy to have a baby. You don't really have a preference, but within this mod, you actually can have a choice whether you want to have a baby or not. And your Sims will actually either be happy or mad depending on what their preferences are. I normally keep it off because it kind of annoys me when Sims are always happy to have a baby. I know that might sound weird, but I feel like not everyone in real life is happy to have a baby. So I'm, you know, it's part of his storylines, you know, in The Sims, you can do whatever you want. And then this is also allow preferences on offspring, personality slash express gender. This one, I know some people can either love it or hate it, but basically within this, if it's on, Sims can choose a preference slash hope for their next offspring's personality slash express gender and react based on it. Normally in The Sims, your Sims don't get the chance to say whether they want a boy or a girl or what they want their, you know, baby's personality to be like. I normally keep this on, but you don't have to, you just click it to turn it on, but you don't have to have this on and you don't even have to set your offspring's personality. I will say I always forget to, but I don't really care. Like as long as, you know, there's a baby, I'm, I'm happy because I play a legacy challenge. So they all should be happy to have a baby. But anyways, that one is completely up to you if you want to keep it on or off, but basically it will let your Sims have the option to choose whether they want a boy or a girl, and we'll get more into that within the mod. This is also a fertility side to the mod. So normally in the Sims, your Sims will get pregnant like it's their last day on earth. Like they always get pregnant. There's no, I've never had a Sim that, well, there's certain times where they will come back and say not pregnant, but nine out of 10 times they are pregnant. So this mod allows for fertility. So your Sims could either be on the higher fertility side or it might be really difficult for them to get pregnant. So if you keep this on, if it's set to give a cyclical, I don't even, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, fertility by default. If it's set to on, Sims will default have their fertility set on a cycle. If off, you can assign cycles manually. Like I normally keep this one off, but on here it says individual fertility rate or a global fertility rate. This is what I wanted to check. I normally don't even know what that means right there. So I basically keep it on individual fertility because if you keep it on a global level, that means like all the Sims will have the same rate. And I just don't really like that. So we just keep it on an individual because then it's different. It's a different, um, rate for each sim but on here this they have miscarriage and pregnancy loss in the mod if you don't want to have that on i believe you can also turn the miscarriage portion out or you can just take it out of your the file but basically you're able to add your auto like unborn babies to the family tree i always like to keep that on because i feel like it is pretty sweet to you know at least have them still on the family tree because they you know are part of the family if even if they're not you know in the sims game they 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 were in the family if that makes sense so they will auto add 
the unborn baby into your family tree and you can also name them as well. Now it is, again, you can either use it individual or global rate. I always keep it individual because it will be different for every sim. And then these are some pregnancy tweaks. You can have the no pregnant throw up if no morning sickness. So you know how your sims like will, like in their first and second trimester, they'll get like morning sickness and they'll be throwing up constantly. Well, if this is on, your sims will not see the option to throw up if they don't have morning sickness, which I like. And then there's the no pregnant animation when not aware of pregnancy. In this mod, you have something called a cryptic pregnancy, which does have, it's right here, it's right here where your sims can actually get pregnant and not know about it. And then by the time that they're like later in their trimester, then they'll, you know, obviously know that they're pregnant, but I keep it on because, you know, part of a surprise, you know, so it does happen in real life. This uh, no pregnant animation, if on sims who do not know yet that they are pregnant will not perform the idle animation resting relating to pregnancy and showing a baby bubble. And then this allows pregnancy walk style, but if you didn't want it on, cause sims walk a weird way when they're pregnant in game, you can turn it off so you don't have to have that pregnancy walk style. But I think that's pretty much it to the, you know, pregnancy settings of it. Again, you can come in here and change whatever you want, but those are the settings I normally play with, but without further ado, let's exit out of this because we got more important stuff to do. So we have our sim here. We have our test subject today. I feel like I'm always at this house. So this is just like the mod review hub. I'm always here, but honestly, I quite, I like this house a lot. It's a nice house. Anyways, in order to gain access to the mod, you'll click on your sims and you should see this little relationship, family and pregnancy tab. Once you click on it, you have all of these options. There's like I told you, there's a lot. If you go and click on like the Somology panel right here, you should see this new kind of thing saying neutral about having children. Children. Each time you go load up into a save or if you load the mod in and you kind of, you know, set it up to where your sims can, you know, have that preferences and stuff, you should see this neutral about having children. And basically in the name, they're either, you know, they're, they don't really care. They're, they're good with it or they're not, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter. They're just, you know, they're, they're in the middle of the maybe zone. It's not a yes or no, it's just maybe. And then we can go back into her, you know, in her tab and we can come to the pregnancy and family section of this and we can actually click thoughts on being pregnant and we can hit either not okay or okay but for this video i'll say okay because we will be getting her pregnant in this video and then and if we go back, you can see thoughts on having children, which are two different things. There's either, you know, the being pregnant, your Sims might, you know, be okay with pregnant, but pregnancy, but not wanting to have kids, you might want to do that surrogacy route. So that would allow your Sims not to be upset when they're pregnant. Cause if your Sims don't want to be pregnant, they're going to be tense throughout that entire pregnancy. And it's just not fun. It's not fun to deal with unless like, unless you're, if you're doing that surrogacy route, then I would complete, I would click the okay with pregnancy, but maybe your thoughts on children is you don't want kids right now. So you could click that. And then she's neutral. So I'm gonna leave it at neutral because that, you know, I don't think she should get mad, but basically that's about it for those two things. And then we can go back into the thoughts on offspring expressed personality. So here you can either choose would like either or both. And then you could say would like to have a boyish child or would like to have a girly child. I'm gonna click this would like either or both and that way she will have that preference to, you know, having a baby. But we're actually gonna do something a little different because my whole thing is we know how pregnancy works, like a normal pregnancy in The Sims. We know how that works. You know, we don't really need to go through that again, but I did want to show you guys the surrogacy portion of this mod. But before I do that, let's do our reproductive health and go to the uh, doctor to get our fertility and health risk evaluated. So they will go off into a rabbit hole. And I believe it's like a couple of hours that they go off to and they should be back. But when they come back, it should give us a notification of what all happened at that appointment. Yeah, here we go. So she's sad and it says, I'm sorry to announce that you have a low fertility. Starting a pregnancy might be a little difficult. And then on this little thing here, it says Martha can now keep track of her exact fertility under the fertility menu under family and pregnancy. So like I was saying, you can only go to the doctors once but once you've done that, you can continue to check their fertility. And then this next page, it would seem that you are not predisposed to any particular abnormal risks during pregnancy, but are not either predisposed to avoiding them. 
anymore. So she's in the middle. So it's um, it's scaled by a zero to five system. So she's probably a three on that. But right now she has a buff saying, learn about low fertility. Martha wants to have children and is a little saddened to learn that she's a low fertility. Now there are ways to fix it. You can buy that the purchase fertility potion for 50 simoleons and it'll help boost your Sims fertility. Like if we go to the family and or the reproductive health section and we hit check fertility level, it should tell us, you know, what percent she's at. So she's at 17%. So basically if she decided to woohoo right now with someone, it would be a 17% chance of her getting pregnant. But anyways, let's go and do a surrogacy pregnancy. We'll go back into this tab and we'll go under insemination and surrogacy. And I did want, let me show you guys this before we do the surrogacy thing because I won't be able to click it if she's pregnant. But for the attempt artificial insemination, this is basically what it looks like. And in the name, it your Sims can go off. And it's like the science baby thing that they added into the sims 4 i don't know if you guys have played with it yet but basically you can pay like 1200 simoleons and get a baby like on the spot and it's a mix of like your so it's like a genetic version of your baby well in this mod you can go through artificial insemination maybe save some money because like this one right here is 500 simoleons then it's a thousand simoleons and then 1500 simoleons but you basically have three options to choose from this one you're always going to get pregnant in my opinion every time i do ivf my sims are always pregnant but but sometimes with these two, it doesn't always happen. But if you wanted a confirmed pregnancy, do the IVF. But anyways, you can do that on your own time. There's a couple different options. Well, there's just two options. You can either look through um, different sims to choose who the father is, or you can just let the lab pick a random sample and then you'll your sims will come back and hopefully be pregnant. But we're gonna do the surrogacy thing and show you guys how that works because you get paid for doing it, which is kind of a bonus. So we are going to hit this. I'm actually, you know, I'm gonna register with the, the surrogacy association first and see if we get a call. You should get a call being like, hey, can you have my baby please? But it says Martha is now registered with the agency of surrogate pregnancies and may get phone calls asking her to carry a baby for others. So I might wait to see the phone call, but if you wanted to speed up the process, you could click back on them, click the insemination of pregnancy, and then hit carry a baby for other sim. But I kind of want to see if we get a phone call. So I have yet to have received a call. So what I'm gonna do is speed up this process is just to go what I told you guys to do originally if you wanted to speed it up, but we'll hit carry a baby for another sim or for other sim. I mean, I guess another works too. She'll call them and let them know that she is willing to do it. And then you can choose, this is my favorite part. You can choose who the surrogate like who will who you will be giving the baby to so i think i'm thinking judith for this one because she always makes a cameo in my videos we might as well just like bring her in we got it judith right here so she'll go off and they will um basically you know make her get her pregnant so when she comes back home we'll have to take a test just like any other sim but she should be pregnant. Yes, she is pregnant. So there's going to be a new addition to this house. Well, not this household because um, she's this baby's going somewhere else. But as you can see right here, it says nauseous from illness. Martha is fighting a battle of the belly. I wonder if this is like a morning sickness or whatnot. She does have the throw up option. So that probably is morning sickness, but there are a few cool things when your Sims are pregnant that you can do with them. And that is if you go back into the tab and I believe if you go to pregnancy and family, you can actually kind of choose if you want to go to like, you can go to early parenthood classes, you can go to birth class, you can discover the baby number and birth gender for 200 simoleons. And then you can also, um, you can also get an abortion as well on this mod, but Again, that's completely up to you. I'm not gonna do that because we're a surrogate. So, but what we can do is discover the baby name, the baby, not baby names, the baby number and birth gender. It's an echography. So if you don't have the realistic childbirth mod, you'd probably, this is your closest bet to getting an ultrasound. I mean, you don't actually go with them. It says you are pregnant with one baby and your baby will be born a girl. It does work for multiple babies as well. So if you do, if you are pregnant with multiples, it should, work with that. All of the interactions that I just showed you are more rabbit holes. So you don't actually go with them, but you can also, if your Sims are like, they will get little pop-ups saying like, I'm craving like sweet food or I'm craving like healthy food. You can click on them through that pregnancy and family window and actually go get their craved food and it will fill up their hunger levels as well, which is good. But the other thing too, is if you go back into the surrogacy panel, you can actually text the baby's future parents about the pregnancy process. You can text baby's future parents about the birth gender and you can invite them over. So I guess we can let her know what she's having because we got our 
ecography or whatever it's called. And then they should say, thank you for letting us know our baby births gender, take care. Till then, I think I'll come back when she is in labor because then we can actually go through like the actual surrogacy process. Till then we will just wait. Okay, it's official. She just went into labor. So we did wait the full three days. So now she is able to have her baby. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the bassinet. Now I did wanna point out a few things. If you do use a realistic childbirth mod, I remember her saying a while back, I don't know if it's been fixed now, but if you go through the realistic childbirth mod um, laboring ways, you might have like a conflict of with the surrogacy portion of the mod not working correctly. So normally I just do EA's way of doing it if I have a surrogate preg pregnancy, but we'll just name her the first name, Brielle. And then we will have the baby here. And then I'll have let them have their moment because after she is done, it will give you a little thing saying, now that Martha's surrogate pregnancy is over, she must remember to send the child to the waiting parents to do so. Click on the child, go to pregnancy and family, then alternative pregnancy, then send surrogate child to its parents. So it does tell you exactly what you need to know, exactly what you need to do. We'll go ahead and click on Brielle, go to realistic family and pregnancy, and then go to insemination and surrogacy. You can decide to keep the child if you want to. If if you are like, I'm not gonna give this kid up, you can keep it or you can in, or you can send it to the surrogate child's parents, which we will do that. And then we get $8,000 from it. Now, I don't know why the baby is still here. You know what? I'm gonna try and age up Brielle and see if it will send them to their rightful households when they're an infant. Let's see. See what happens here she's now an infant but if we click on her oh, okay she's gone so i guess they do need to be an infant in order for them to go off to the rightful houses so you might just want to age them up immediately after being born and then that way they will go to their rightful spots so you don't have to deal with them and then right here she'll get this confident thing saying surrogacy over martha is glad and proud of having seen the surrogacy process to its end now another sim is happily apparent thanks to her so now we're gonna get her re-pregnant so basically what you will do is click on your sim, go again to the RPO like section. You'll go to reproductive health and then you will click on Martha's reproductive health status and you should hit cheat trigger miscarriage. Now, if you did cheat a pregnancy like I did using MC command center, they will there will be a tab saying load pregnancy loss possibility. You'll click that, but we'll just click this because you'll click that first and then you'll click the miscarriage, but it'll say something seems to be wrong with Martha's 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 pregnancy, Martha will be going to the hospital and they will go on their own. And then it will say here, pregnancy issues, something seems to be wrong with Martha's pregnancy. Now there is a one out of five chance that they will come back and they will be fine. But majority of the times, if it's early on in their pregnancy, they will probably lose it. But we will see, I think they're there for a couple hours. I mean, even the Sims is upset for us. It's been raining all the time here. But it says Martha had an ectopic pregnancy due to the non-viability of the fetus and the danger for Martha's life. Surgical intervention had to be undergone to end this pregnancy. Damage has occurred to Martha's reproductive system. It may well be that her fertility will be drastically reduced. It is advised that she get a, her fertility reassessed. So if you do have a miscarriage in with this mod, you can go back to the doctor to get your fertility re like set. So if you go here, it will, um, there should be a section for you to get it. Re. But if not, I clicked on this and it does say get sterilization reversal procedure. When you have an ectopic pregnancy, it damages your fallopian tubes, which basically is the tubes that allows the eggs to go into your uterus. So when those are damaged, it is very hard for it to, you know, work properly. So we'll just go and get that surgery. And, you know, she is very sad. They will have lost the baby. Now, I think there should be because we did click. She had an unborn child, which was her daughter. We didn't get to name her though, but that's fine. But she will pop up in the family tree. I thought that was the other kid we gave birth to, but the nice thing about the surrogacy and the adoption thing, when, if you adopt your kid out or do the surrogacy, they won't be in your family tree, which is nice. But now we have our fertility rates have been properly reassigned. So she should be able to go and get that checked again. Yes, here we go. So you do need to do the surgery first and then get the fertility checked. But it says, I'm sorry to announce we still have low fertility and we're still the same. So nothing really changed. We just were able, she's able to now get pregnant again. 
but she's still sad. I don't blame her. But the other thing I did want to show you guys that I was able to find, which is another quick setting that you can do instead of having to go through like cast for it, you can go back to reproductive health and then I believe it should be under the fertility status. You can change Martha's pregnancy and impregnation aspects. So you can choose to make her able to get pregnant, able to get others pregnant, or able to do neither. So it's just quick, easy to do. If you don't want to go through CAS, I understand that you can just click it from that. It doesn't take, it's not too many steps. But other than that, that is about it today's mod review. I know it was might have been a little bit long. I'm not actually sure how much is how long this video is, but hopefully that cleared up some of the questions because I know this mod is, it's a beast of a mod. It is, there's a lot of components to it. So sometimes it gets a little like confusing to to figure out what what is what you're supposed to do and not do but anyways hope you enjoyed this video but with that i will end it here well thank you all so much for watching today's video i hope you all enjoyed it again i hope this did clear up some stuff with this mod i haven't really i've seen a lot of mod reviews out but i haven't really seen an in-depth one out so maybe this will help you understand exactly what to do with the pregnancy portion of this mod again there's so many different um like chapters like different like categories within this mod again they have like 19 different things in this mod so it is a bit of a, it is a huge mod but it's one of my favorites it adds so much into your game with your sims and just different gameplays and stuff like that so i'll probably do more parts to this mod but i figured the pregnancy mod was probably the pregnancy portion was probably the best one to do this week but anyways if you did enjoy if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and comment your favorite part and if you would put this mod into your game and if you want to see more content like like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button but with that i will see you all on monday mm -hmm.